Tess? Yo, Tess, you up here? Yo, Tess, you in? Okay, so what happened? All right, look, I'm gonna spill the beans. I messed up. I made a mistake. You make a mistake? Yeah, I can't picture it. Yeah, it was worse than terrible. All right, so this is what happened. I got an anonymous tip from Miko that there was gonna be a famous celebrity at the club in my neighborhood, and I knew it was my chance. To do what? Shut up, don't interrupt me, nigga. So after searching all 23 strip clubs on 8 Mile and getting thrown out of most of them, I finally found out where he was. Which one? I can't mention names. Shut up. So anyway, long story short, I was in the club being calm, chill, collective, eating my chicken, no problem or nothing. And then out of nowhere, they started making it rain. And I'll tell you, my boy, it was the beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. It was awesome. Okay. But then... I realized I didn't go to CSL that day. And I valeted. How did you valet with no car? Believe me, it's a lot harder than you think. Okay, Tez, Tez, just get to the point, please. Look, I may have made a mistake. I was at the strip club and I may have taken a few dollars. Okay, see, I've never been to the strip club. Is that not something you're supposed to do? Yes, yeah, it's from the park. Okay, so you took a couple dollars from some nobody. Big deal. It's not what I did. That scares me, David. It's who I did it to. No, just some dude from the hood in the club, right? That dude from the hood in the club was 50 Cent. What? You heard me, nigga. It was 50 Cent. Okay, slow, down, slow, down. Slow, slow down, slow down, slow down. How do you know it was 50 Cent? Seven new voice messages and six saved messages. New message. Okay. Get that nigga. Cause it's Friday. I'm gonna need that by Monday, man. I'm gonna need that, man. You think I'm joking? Nigga, if you don't get my money over here, you don't be picking up money in the strip club and taking it home with you, man. What the fuck wrong with this little nigga? Let me get to the bottom of this shit. To replay this message. Wait, how do you even get your number? Today, Nigga, he's 50 cents. Well, oh, look, man. Today, I don't know what to tell you, man. This is your Three problem. Options. Well, uh, well, what? Well, it's kind of our problem. Funny story, actually. Okay, well, please tell me because I'm ready to laugh. So, this is what happened. Um, India went through my phone like she always do because she has access to everything. Okay. And she found some messages. So, I didn't want to look like no hoe in front of my girl. So, I DM'd him back. And I was talking mad crap, son. I told him where he could take his okay, G and okay. put it up his unit. Stop. What does that have to do with me? Because I used your Instagram account to do it. What? I'm, I'm panic, man. Then why do you even have my Instagram? Your password is David Reagan. You... Mm. Yo, Curtis. Yeah, at Test TV did steal your money from that strip club. He took a couple racks, nigga. Do something about it then. He responded to that? Yeah, I'm just as shocked as you are. You only have 700 followers. You're practically a nobody. Nigga, if you don't... Okay, I'm not saying none of this all out. Oh, yeah, he's very profane. You ain't gonna do shit, you bulky blowhard bitch. Don't talk about it. Be about it. We at 72555 Patricia Avenue. You gave him my address! I panicked! Why you ain't giving him your address? I didn't want to put India in danger. Keep reading. Hashtag many men wish death upon me. Hashtag but they don't want no smoke. Hashtag I'll shoot you nine more times. Hashtag I'll finish the job. Ideally though, ideally though, I cooked that nigga. 
I sit there to his early oh, grave. Shit. I'm oh, going to the blood oh, on his shit. power. Oh, shit. I did that nigga did. Don't worry about it, David. I have a plan. Where did it come from? Oh, hell no. Don't interrupt, okay, boys? Here's the plan. First thing first, you both have to disappear. Go undercover and become new people. Cortez, you are no longer Cortez Andre. Instead, you'll be Carlos Antonio. And David, David Reagan doesn't exist anymore. You are going to be Reagan Davids. Reagan Davids? Genius, right? Now, I got a guy to get you to the Canadian border, but you gotta leave at 3.42 a.m. Specifically, your new jobs, lives, and studio apartment will be already set up by the time India. you hit Ontario. India, we are not moving to Canada. Come on, I really worked hard on this. Besides the Cordelis and everything. You know what? Look. I bet not have wasted my time Where'd and you... my gas getting over here. Where'd you even come from? Nigga, my brother is in danger. Fuck out of here. Okay, I got a plan. I call it Plan B. They'll stop the problem before it starts. Nice. Okay, so we get our guys on the inside to go back to the club. Wait, why are Johnny and Creech our guys on the inside? He's a musician. So he could vibe with 50 on a deeper level than anybody. You know I do music too, right? Of course you do. Stop interrupting. They go back to the club. Johnny leaves the IU specifically on the floor where Cortez grabbed most of the money from. And Creech leaves a blank check for 50 on the City National. The fuck is City National? Exactly. By the time 50 Cent realized it does not exist, David Cortez is very long gone. Nice. India, we're not going to Canada. I don't know. I'm kind of on board with the Canada plan, eh? All right, all right. Chill out, David. I got another plan. First, we get Nigel to... Stop. What? Oh, come on, you jerk. Stop messing up my girl's dreams. <sighs> Who the fuck is Nigel? That's Nigel. I'm Nigel. Nigel, did you get the info? Absolutely. I snapped a shot of all the spoilers for Power Book 2. So 50 come for y'all, we'll leak everything. Nigga, that's blackmail. You're a blackmail. This Mr. 50 Cent, Curtis Jackson we talking about right here. The man that got shot nine times. He killed Ja Rule's career and concurrently paralyzed Ashanti. He killed his cousin, took over old lady's apartment, survived being on fire, and got Tyreek in some type of business he wasn't supposed to be a part of. The boy had no future. And he killed his own boy. That's his character on Power. The nigga got shot in the neck nine times. Power is his actual life. So you think he died in a police shootout in real life? I believe anything I see on TV. All right, all right, everybody just calm down for a second. I think I got a solution that'll actually work. Okay, but just to let you know, I already paid for the passports. You're welcome. All right, y'all, so peep this. It didn't take long for 50 to set his sights on another disrespectful fan. A week after a Detroit club lawyer was seen stealing money from a strip club that 50 was at, yet another person has something to say about 50 and his empire. This nigga should go every day while he got popped nine around. So let me get this straight. You got 50 to back off by hacking some guy and making 50 think that he talk shit about how? Yeah, believe it or not, no. See, I would just go wait it out and let things die down. Honestly, we just kind of got lucky that this guy did this a few hours later. Oh, there he go again. I keep telling him that boy arrogant. I know mean, you ain't talking, bro. Next time you get in trouble, don't come to me, bro. Oh, come on, bro. You know how this go. I reckon you fix it, bro. That's how it's always been, bro, since day one. All right, well, Ted's question. You stole the money from the strip club, so what you do with it, all right? Because I'm need about half of it from the shit you put me through. Oh, my black brother, I got you. You ain't got to worry about that. Put it in a safe spot right in my drawers. Hold on. I got to check right in between my first, second, and third nut. It ain't in there. All right, we in trouble. Oh, fuck it, I don't need to stop this, man. I didn't look at him. Oh, shit. Many men wish death upon me. Now come and take your life away.